Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I'm in a Google Slides um, slideshow that I have made, and I'm going to show you how to share your Google Slides and get embed code so that you can put it on your eClass page or somewhere else. So I'm in my Google Slides um, presentation. The first thing I want to do is make sure this is shared. So I'm going to go up here and do share. Uh, right now it's listed as restricted, only people added can open with this link, so I'm going to click change link to Gwinnett County Public Schools. Um, and now it says anyone in this group with this link can view, but I'm actually going to click that and change it to anyone with the link to make it public. And then um, I'm done, so I'm going to click on done. All right, the next thing that I need to do is go up to File and choose Publish to the Web. And you do want to make sure that you've already done the sharing steps I just showed you before you do this Publish to the Web or it won't work correctly. Um, I'm going to go to Embed. You can choose what um, size you want your embed code to be, what size you want the slideshow to end up on your page. Uh, I'm just going to go with Medium and um, with you know, trial and error, you can practice doing different sizes and see how you like it. Um, mine only has one slide. If you've got multiple slides, you can choose timing for um, advancing the slides automatically. Um, you can also choose whether or not you want the slideshow to start as soon as the player loads. So do you want them to have to click play or do you want it just to automatically be scrolling? And then do you want it to restart at the end? So do you want it to continue to loop? So for instance, on our school website, um, I have longer than three seconds because a lot of our slides have a lot of text to read. And then I have it set to start as soon as the player loads and to restart after the last slide so it will continue to loop. So that's what those options are about. Once you've got that how you want it, you'll click Publish. It'll ask you if you're sure, click OK. And then this is your embed code. So you're going to copy that to be able to use it somewhere else. Um, if you put your embed code in wherever you're going to use it and you decide, oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done medium. I should have done large or small or custom, whatever. Um, once you change these options, it will automatically update the code down here and you'll just need to um, copy and paste the code again. So I'm going to do a separate video to show you um, how to get this embed code into your um, eClass page, but that's how you get the embed code for a Google Slideshow. Thanks, guys. Bye.